Okay, now, our straight lines, they always look like this. Y equals to mx plus c. Okay, where m over here, the number in front of the x, the coefficient of x is known as the gradient. And the y-intercept is just the constant term, the term that doesn't have x. That will be our y-intercept. But please take note that both m and c can either be positive or negative. So we're going to be doing direct comparison. Um, I will show you the first question. So here we have y equals to 3x plus 5. This is what you will need to do. You compare y and y, okay, they are the same, equal and equal, same, same, x and x. So therefore, what must the value of m be over here? 3. Okay, right now, 3. What must the y-intercept be? 5. Okay, simple. I'll do the same for the rest, but please take note, things get a little more different as the questions progress. For example, you may need to rearrange. Um, like, for example, over here, um, let's see. Uh, over here, y goes to 6 minus 5x. Uh, it is not exactly y goes to mx plus c. But you can switch it around to give us y equals to negative 5x plus 6. Then you can compare what is m, what is c, isn't it? That's one thing you can do. Um, some other things to take note of will be over here. y equals to 5. Hey, no x term. So what's the gradient? Okay, so we went through that just now already. Huh? I'm not going to give you the answer yet. And we'll see as the questions progress, okay? Now, how are we going to answer the questions? You get to choose. I'll give you some time, about 15 minutes to do your work. Once the 15 minutes is up, I will go sequentially. Maybe from Rian down, we'll just spiral this way. Rian gets to choose the question he wants to answer. Okay? But you notice that the questions, there are no labels, right? I didn't label question A, B, C, D, E, F. But I did give you the plot and the level. So for example, if Rian wants to do um, this particular question, so he'll say, I want to do question from block 2, level 1. Or he can just say 2, 1. Uh, so I'll know, oh yeah, he's talking about this question and then I will let him answer this. Understand how this works? Okay, there are two pages to this. Please start. Okay. Block 0, level 9. I did that already. <laughs> Choose another one. Block 1, level 9. Okay, basically the second question. What is your gradient? Gradient 2. Point intercept? Good. Next. Block 2, level? Okay, gradient? 1, 2. Okay, so the gradient over here, the number in front of the x is actually 1. It looks like it is a 0 because there's no number. But it cannot be 0 because... If it is 0, we get 0 times x. And then there's nothing left. You don't have an x anymore. So it cannot be 0. The number there is actually 1. Okay, next. L uh, louder. Or use your finger and show me. Block 3. Level? 9. Gradient, 1. Intercept, also 1. Okay, good. Next. Level? Okay, so this question. Negative 8. Good. Please do your self marking as we go along. Next. Block 2, level 8. Block 0, block 1, block 2. Okay, yes? Gradient is negative 8. 5. Good. Next. Block 1, level 8. Yes? Gradient is 1. Negative 4.5. Good. Next. Block 0, level 5. Okay, now we have this question. Block 0, level 5. Gradient 2. Y intercept is 5. Now, um, it is correct, but notice that I left a little blank over here because I thought maybe you needed to rewrite this to become y equals to 2x plus 5. 
I don't know, maybe some of you need to do that to see y equals to mx plus c. But if you don't, then sure, no problem. Gradient is just 2. Y-intercept is 5. The Y-intercept is the number without the X. Okay, next. Block 1, level 7. Yes. Gradient 3. Y-intercept 0. Again, Y-intercept is the number without the X. This tree has an X. So that is not my Y-intercept. It is actually 3X plus 0 y equals to mx plus c so we see that the c value is zero so correct next block one level six okay gradient gradient is zero intercept five so again our y intercept is the number without the x this number doesn't have the x so that is our y intercept this is a flat line earlier on we did y equals to two this is y equals to 5. It is a horizontal line, gradient 0. Next. Yeah. Block 0, 1, 2, 3. Block 3, level 0. Okay, so this is the question he is doing. Gradient is 10. Y intercept is 5. Um, correct. So how did he get this? We always want to put in the form of y equals mx plus c. Right now, I have 10x. Right, it didn't start with y. Then uh, it is equal to 5, negative 5 plus y. Let's try to make y the subject. What I can do is to add 5 to both sides. Then I get 10x plus 5 equals to y. Okay, I add 5 to both sides, so I get 10x plus 5 goes to y. You can write the next step, but for many of you, you probably already can tell. Oh, this is the same as y equals to 10x plus 5. So 10 has to be the gradient, 5 has to be the y intercept. Okay? Whatever questions you have wrong, uh, please go and indicate that it's wrong so that you can look at it again. Okay, next. Block. Ah, level. Block 0, level 6. 0. Level 6. Okay, yes. What is your gradient? Negative 1. Is that 0. Good. Next. Block 1. Level 5. Okay, yes. In the set? 3. Next. Block 2, level 2. Block 2, level 2. We are going down again. 0, 1, 2. Block 2, level 2. Yes, what is your gradient? 1. Why in the set? 3. So you should notice that this is actually the same as y equals to x plus 3. Gradient of 1 in the set of 3. Okay, next. Okay, 3, 8. So you can just say 3, 8. I know it is block 3, level 8. So 3, 0, 1, 2, 3, level 8. Yes, gradient. Okay. Good. Next. Um, okay, yes. 2, 7. 0, 1, 2, 7. Yes. Negative 4. Intercept. 0. Good. Next. Uh, block 1. Uh, 3, 7. 0, 1, 2, 3, 3, 7. Yes. Gradient. Intercept. Good. Next. 3, 5. 0, 1, 2, 3. 3, 5. Okay. Gradient. 4. Intercept. Negative 8. Good. Next. 0, 0. 0, 0 is in a corner over here. Okay. Gradient. 
gradient negative 4 intercept negative 1 okay so here although I said that the intercept is the number without the x but we have to make sure that it is still in the form y goes mx plus c first because if you you just remember oh the number without the x oh the number without the x is 1 they write 1 as the intercept they will be wrong you have to change it to y equals to mx plus c so let us subtract 1 on both sides minus 1 minus 1 we get negative 4x minus 1 equals to y so rearrange we have y equals to negative 4x minus 1 that's how he got y in the cell is negative 1 correct? is that how he did it? ok good next block 1 block 1 level 0 ok yes gradient 3 negative 4 yes very good so what we did was to subtract 4 on both sides 3x minus 4 equals to y y equals to 3x minus 4 next block 2 level 6 ok yes gradient 0 minus 3 ok good next 3 6 3 6 yes negative 4 good next 0 5 or oh, 2 5 2 0 1 2 2 5 yes negative 4 okay, so we can rewrite this become y equals to 5x minus 4 next block 1 level 4 block 1 level 4 here ok gradient good intercept good so we can rewrite this to become y equals to negative 5x plus 6 next 0, 1 ok, gradient gradient 4, intercept 1 gradient 4, intercept 1 this can be rewritten as y equals to 4x plus 1 do you have more confidence now? now you take another 15 minutes try and finish up the question then we will continue again from Aloysius I uh, finish already then uh, give me another set of notes I will remind me to tell the class later on I'm going to go through what we have here first, okay? You identify a problem, right? Finish. Yeah. They got problem inside it. Eh? You don't notice the problem. Uh, later I tell you. Okay, can we try to complete this now? Let's go through the rest of the questions, yeah? Aloysius, ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, come. Le block one, level one. Zero, four. Zero, four? Haven't do yet? Oh, haven't yet. Okay, zero, four. What is the value? 1, 3, good. Next. 1? 1, 1. I have to do 1, 1. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's at the bottom. 1, 1. Okay. Answer? 2 and negative 8. Okay, good. Because the working over here will be y equals to 2x minus 8. Alright, next. Zero, three. Zero, three. Yes. One, negative one, and two. Okay, good. Y goes to negative x plus two. Yes, Hannah. Two, 
Okay, two four. Brilliant. Negative ten. Negative eight. Good. Next. Tell me. Zero. Oh, so block three, level four. Three, zero, one, two, three, four. Okay, block three, level four. Gradient. Good. Negative seven. Good. Next. Block three, level six. Oh, sorry, block three, level three. Okay, gradient. Negative one. Seven. Good. Next. Block two, level zero. Okay, gradient. Uh, intercept. Negative four. Okay, good. So over here, we subtract four on both sides. We end up with negative two x minus four equals to y. So of course, the next step has to be y equals to negative two x minus four. Good. Next. Uh, show me the number. Block what? Block two, level three. Block two, level three. Okay, this is the question. Uh huh. See the set? Good. Next. Block one, level two. Block one, level two. This is the question. Yes. Negative five. Four. Good. Next. Two, two. So we have block two, level eight. Do ready one. Or oh, two one. Uh, two also. Oh, two one. Okay, two one, two one. Yes, yes. Okay, gradient. Three. In the side. Seven. Good. So what we did was to add seven on both sides. Next. Three, two. Three, two. Three, two. Here. Gradient. Uh huh. Four. So y equals to negative x plus four. Next. Seven zero. No, you must tell me the block first. A uh, block zero, level seven. Okay, block zero, level seven. Okay, gradient. Negative one. Intercept. One. Good. And we have covered the whole class, and we are back at Rien. Block zero, level two. Okay, gradient. Three. Intercept. Two. So this is rewritten as y equals to three x plus two. Next. Jump away. Block zero, level. Oh, next page. Huh? Okay, she's gone on to the next page. Block zero, level five. But please take note our first page not complete yet. Huh? Okay, block 0, level 5, come. Gradient 3, intercept 5. Why? Huh? Wait, so is this your answer? Is this your answer? Now, how did she get this? It is correct. We have to put in the form y equals mx plus c, isn't it? So we divide by 2 everywhere. Right now, this is a 2y. I need to divide by 2, divide by 2, divide by 2. So we end up with y equals to 3x plus 5. And we can now compare. Okay, m is 3. So gradient is 3. Intercept is 5. Okay, next. Page 1 or page 2? 
page two. Okay, block. Block one, question five. Okay, next question over here. Gradient is three. Intercept four. So same thing. Divide by two. Divide by two. Divide by two. We get y equals to three x plus four. Good. Next, page one or page two. Page two. Okay, block. Block two, level five. Okay, so the next question over here. Gradient. Intercept. Negative three. So same thing, divide by two. Y equals to four X minus three. Next, page one or two. Also page two, okay. Block two, level four. Zero, one, two, level four over here. Gradient. Gradient two. Intercept. Negative four. Okay, good. So we divided by three. Y equals to two x minus four. Next, page one or two. Yeah. Hey, wait, uh, oh, no, 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 you, no, you. Yes. Page one. Back to page one. Question. One. One. One three. One, three. Three, three, one or one three? three Make up my mind. One three, one three. One three. Okay. So this is the question. One three. Gradient negative one. In the set. Good. Next. Page two also. Block zero level four. Okay. So this is page two block zero level four gradient. Negative four, intercept two. So what he did was to divide by three. Divide by three, divide by three. Y equals to negative four x plus two. Good. Next. Page one. Page two. Yes. Block three level five. Block three level five. Okay. This is the question. Five negative four. Just divide by two again. Y equals to five x minus four. Okay, next. Page two. Page two, block one, level four. This is the question. Gradient. Negative five. Intercept four. Divide by three everywhere. Y equals to um, five. Negative five x plus four. Next. Page. Yeah, which page? Page 2 Block 3 Level 0 Okay, he's doing the second last question Oh no, the last question Block 3, level 0 4 and a half and Half Wow, this one needs a bit of work huh? okay, So we want to make Y the subject On the left hand side I only want the Y so I need to subtract 9x on both sides. Correct? Okay, after I subtract 9x, I'm left with 2y equals to negative 9x plus 1. You can change your answer anytime you want to. Uh, if you notice anything. Okay, so 2y equals to negative 9x plus 1. Uh, so you change your answer already. Okay, so he's changing this answer to become negative four and a half. Okay, so our next step will be to divide by two. Divide by two, divide by two to get y equals to negative nine over two x plus half. And that is how you get this gradient of negative four and a half. Y in the set will be half. Okay? If you can do this question, you can do any question in this paper already. Okay. If you put in mixed fraction, I will accept. You put it in improper fraction, also will accept. I encourage improper fraction. Okay. Now next, page one or two. Page one or two. 
Page two. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Not you, not you. Yes. Page two. Block zero, level one. Page two, block zero, level one. This is the one that we're doing. Radiant. Two. In the tap. Negative three. Okay, correct, correct. I hope you guys are gaining a lot of confidence for this. So next lesson, which is oh, next week, uh, Monday, next Monday. Please bring this. We have just a few more to go. And this set of um, worksheet that was just given out to you, please try this as your homework. Doesn't take you long also. Some of your friends are finish, uh, finishing it already. But please look at page two. There's an error that Isaac pointed out to me. Page two. Look at the uh, scale. This is zero, zero, right? So this is one. This must be two. This must be three. And this must be four. Put a four over here. This is five. Okay? Hello, page two, question two. The, the four is wrong place. Just bring it down a bit. Okay, class that.